Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're going to be taking a look at the slightly obscure UK Tomy Pocket Games. Now, these are American Tomy Pocket Games that were released once the Palatoy factory had shut and the Pocketeers weren't being released anymore. So this is basically what came after the British Pocketeers. And uh, I think they're quite nice. There's only 15 in the series to collect, although finding them carded is actually quite difficult these days, but they are out there with a bit of persistence. So anyway, that is what we're going to be having a look at today. So sit back relax and let's get to it. Okay then, so we start off with what they call the sports series. So these are all carded rather than in those really nice Palatoy boxes and uh, I sort of miss that to be honest. Um, I much prefer the uh, the box games because you can get them out and uh, have a little play whereas these carded ones where well, you open them it's a one-way process isn't it but these first five are what they call sports so it's a sport series and they're sort of loosely sort of sport related games so um, this is uh, the US golf game no nowhere near the br fantastic British one that we had and uh, this one here is Touchdown, which is American football, although it looks as if they're playing hockey on that one, so not really sure on that one. But these sort of got released in the UK around 82, 83, um, but they were in shops, well, for the next decade because they didn't sell very well. Um, this one is a uh, um, it's not rally, is it? Um, it's more like um, the uh, the racer one. Grand Prix, they released it as in the UK. But, you know, you, you can... What you'll find with these is that they're almost like um, re-releases of games that we've already seen, but they've, uh, they've taken the actual basic mechanics and they've put a new twist on it, some new artwork, and uh, basically managed to squeeze a new game out of it. This one is like a baseball one, home run. Not sure that might actually be a unique one uh, that we hadn't seen at this point. Um, these are really nice condition. Um, uh, almost all of them I got straight out of the case. So I was quite lucky uh, back in the early 90s. I was in the 80s, in fact, I was actively picking up old toys. And uh, there was a shop which is still there today called Kaleidoscope in Tavistock, which is in uh, southwest England, which is where I live. And there's basketball, which is very similar to the uh, the British Pocketeers basketball. And anyway, I went in this shop and uh, they had a couple of these just on the shelf, just on a spinner. And they were $1.99 each. And I said to the guy, um, do you have any more of these? Because um, I really like these old uh, pocket games. He said, you know, I think I've got a couple of cases in the stock room. Should we go and have a look? So off we went because I, I picked up the two that were on the spinner. And he said, yeah, look at this. So he had a full case of 36. And then he had about another two thirds of a case. Um, there's a interesting, so that's copter flight. So if you look closely, that's actually rat -a -tat. It's the same game, but it's just been sort of repackaged and re-released as another game completely. So yeah, I bought the whole lot of him. You know, I think he gave me a bit of a discount as well. So I had, I guess, probably about 60 or 70 in total. And I pulled a set for myself. And then I sent a set to uh, James Masters. Now he runs a Pocketeers website online. It's very easy to find. And uh, he's got a really nice checklist and pictures of all the games. So um, do check that one out. And um, he had a set off me. And then the rest of them, I just sort of eBayed. I put them up about 10 to 15 pound each. And that's pretty much what you can get them for today. You do need to be a little bit persistent though, because the games themselves turn up, particularly if you know the name of them, like that one there, Dragon Trap. As long as you look that up, you will find it. The trick is to try and find them still carded and, and mint on card. And that's a, a much harder proposition. And you'll probably need to be quite patient to get them all. And as I said, as far as I know, there's just the 15 in the series, although they came in an assortment of 36. While I was up in the guy's stock room, I said, have you got any other Tomy games? And he had those, um, you know, the wind up ones. Um, we haven't shown them yet, but there'll probably be a couple of videos time. And uh, there's like the there was a Turtles game and um, there was um, what was there? So there's like a couple of driving games. And then I've got some very small Tomy Starcades, they're called, which are a small square sort of puzzle games. And I had like a case of each of those as well, which I had off him. So uh, look out for those in a couple of videos time. That one there, Shooting Gallery, it's just like uh, 
a, a reissue in effect of the one which we had is how zach past the puck here which is um hockey um we had that was our version of smurf ball so that's come out as a puzzle game yet clearly it's a sports title it's weird isn't it not a lot of attention has gone into these but uh c'est la vie so that's that little batch of uh five games i do like dragon trap i really like the uh the graphics on that one copter fight's cool but ratata is another real favorite of mine next we've got catch a caterpillar well that's um that the british version of that of course was splashdown wasn't it um and they've just reused the uh the same tooling as it were yeah, so next month I'm going to be doing another video with all my foreign releases. So these were the, the very last of the British ones. Um, I've got some original American Tommy Pocket games, boxed ones, and I've got some Pocket Mates, and I've got some Guyperman ones. Um, oh, this is nice. This is a Wheel of Fortune, quite a scarce one that I think. Um, I haven't got any Japanese ones, sadly. I wouldn't mind getting some. And I've got a few other uh, odd bits and pieces and a few close pocketeer imitators which aren't actually pocketeers but they look very very similar so we've got those to look at as well um, so they'll be pretty cool um, so that'll be the next video and then the final one we'll be looking at the uh, the clockwork wind-up games and the tomy starcades absolutely love this one this is robot factory you sort of uh, flick a thing on the side and uh, you uh, you can make a combination of different robots and each robot scores like a different amount of points really cool on that i really like that shame the, and interesting that the bubbles yellowed on it um, it happens so often with toys from this era and um, it's because i've been reliably informed um, a fire retardant was popped into the mixture um, and that's why they've yellowed um, motocross that was like a, another version of stunt bike um, these aren't out on display because obviously daylight is another thing which causes bubbles to yellow. Um, well, not daylight so much, but fluorescent artificial lighting can uh, can prematurely age your carded toys and figures and stuff. And then this last one we got to look at is Target Range. Another quite quite cool one. So you should be able to find all of these loose. Um, on places like eBay fairly easily but as I said carded and really nice mint cards that might take a little bit more searching around but definitely worth your effort because I think they're a really good um, and perhaps quite tricky bit to find of the uh, the pocketeers story and there's that final five Now, this is interesting. So this is one of those cases that I picked up. So you see, um, it says Pocket Games number one. So that's like assortment number one. And uh, it held 36 of those carded games inside. And then on the uh, label there, it'll have the address for Kaleidoscope in uh, Tavistock, made in Thailand. And uh, yeah, they are at one ninety nine. That's how much they were. And the guy was more than happy to let me have the box. Uh, I think he was, uh, you know, glad of the business. I went in midweek, and uh, it was a quiet old day, and he was probably glad to get eighty quid in the till. <laughs> so anyway, there they all are, the full set of fifteen. So I do hope you enjoyed looking through those ones. If you have, do please give the video a thumbs up, and do please consider subscribing for regular vintage pocketeers action and i shall very much look forward to seeing you again very soon bye